Okay. 95.9 The Hog, Bill Cash. I'm fulfilling a bucket list. I'm here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland with uh, a friend who's helped me get here and is going to tell us a little bit about why you should come as well. Carl, uh, pleasure. This has been an awesome visit. Oh, well, we're happy to have you, you know, all the way from Utah. It's great. Well, I, I, I'm, sh I'm ashamed to say that I actually lived two hours away for 50 years and I had to go all the way to Utah before I could actually come. Well, we're happy to have you anytime. Well, it, it's been a great experience so far. Um, tell us a little bit about the displays that are currently going on. I know one of the ones that uh, is running out pretty soon is for Chuck Berry. Yeah, so we have a Chuck Berry display right downstairs. Uh, Chuck Berry was actually one of our first inductees here into the Hall of Fame. Helped us break the ground. He played at our grand opening concert. Uh, you know, just an icon, a deep connection to the Hall of Fame. So, of course, we got to honor him here at the Hall of Fame. Uh, another collection we have, we're celebrating the 2017 inductees. Joan Baez, ELO, Journey. Journey. Yeah, Tupac, Nile Rodgers, yes. Uh, you know, and Pearl Jam, you know, the, the real big Oh, yeah, those here. guys. Yeah, Pearl Jam, yeah. So, and then right now, we just opened last week this new exhibit, Rolling Stone 50 Years, celebrating 50 years of the iconic magazine. Well, you know, I was upstairs looking at, at the display. Now, how long is the Rolling Stone display going to be here? This will be here through the end of the year. Okay. So you definitely want to get out here before the end of the year because, you know, I mean, the Rolling Stone publication goes hand in hand with uh, classic rock. It's silly to even not make the comparison. The displays up there, the photos, uh, some of the letters uh, from uh, John Warner uh, to some of the artists. Uh, I took a picture of one from Bob that he sent to Bob Dylan, kind of almost apologizing Mr. Dylan for, uh, hey, can we write a story about you? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff like that. Oh, yeah, the whole history of the magazine, you know, between letters to the editor, interviews, reviews, uh, some of their big features, and just not them as a publication, but how they've kind of helped shape uh, journalism, uh, you know, music journalism over the last 50 years as well. Now, beyond the scope of everything we see here, you're actually an archive for rock and roll history. That's right. We actually, uh, a short drive away, we have our library and archives that houses a lot of posters and handwritten lyrics, magazines, newspapers, a lot of the more two-dimensional stuff or digital stuff. And then here at the museum, we have a lot of uh, a lot of guitars and clothing. Um, you know, a lot of the things that show uh, why the artists were cultural icons too. But I found it really special. I have to say, for all of the instruments, all of the costumes and things, uh, seeing handwritten lyrics, the actual handwritten lyrics of songs that you know, I play them every day. Oh yeah. And realize that's in the artist's handwriting. Yeah, well. and you see where the little edits have been made, or maybe you know the song I was recorded one way, but you see it written on paper another. Um, and a lot of stuff that was written maybe in the studio or in a hotel room. Uh, on a napkin, so you see the artist, kind of the flashpoint of, uh, of that creativity. Yeah, it's, it's a, and, and actually, I, I laughed at my creativity. There's a special display for John Mellencamp here, and one of the coolest things about uh, the Mellencamp display is he's a painter, and he's a fabulous painter. Oh, he's a wonderful painter. It's something that he's done, it with, uh, he does all, every day in his free time. Uh, his mother was a painter and artist as well. Uh, and then one of the paintings that you see down there is on the cover of his newest album as well. Oh, okay. See, so there's a whole lot to just coming to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame beside hearing the music. You probably can hear some of it playing in the background. Uh, you're basically open seven days a week. That's right. Right. So uh, people can come pretty much 10 to 5 10 every to day. 30 every day, except for Wednesdays when we're open until 9. And then in the summers, we have some extended hours. So all you got to do is head to rockhall.com. You can look at those hours. You can purchase tickets in advance so you can skip the line. Uh, we'll take good care of you here. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate your time. Yeah, Rock and Roll Thank Hall you. of Fame in yeah. Cleveland. Put it on your bucket list. I'm done. <laughs>